Hello scholars, this week we're going to create a project using the three elements of art that we've been using, which are space, texture, and value. We're going to write our name on the paper on the top, either left side or right side, it doesn't matter. The paper is going to be uh, vertical, flip it over, and now we're going to create a bird. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a half oval shape for the bird. But what I'm going to do is use a half, so I'll actually make a bigger bird. Yeah, let's make a pretty big bird. And we'll draw a half a circle only on the right side. And then we're going to make a curve line, and then we're going to make a curve line down. So it looks like a half a heart. And then we're going to draw a line this way. A curve line going up. And a line going straight, which is a horizontal line. So here's the bird's body. Now I'm going to draw the bird's beak. And I'm going to draw the feathers of the bird, which I'm going to draw a diagonal line. One, two, and three curve lines and then we're going to draw a some feathers for the back side so we're going to go one oval two oval three oval shape four N5. So I made my bird pretty big towards the top, not the very top, but towards the top. And now what we're going to do, which is the fun part, take our pencil and make a line, line going all the way down. And make a line and go all the way down with the bottoms of the feet. And now I'm going to draw a, a line, I mean a circle first. I'm going to draw a circle first. So I'm going to take the part of the ruler I have, make a eye. Now I'm going to take my ruler. Now you don't have to do this, but I want to take my ruler and I'll make three different sections. I'm going to draw a line. I draw a line here towards the top and I'm going to draw another line which is two lines and I'll make it so one towards the top and one towards the bottom so you have three sections these will be for your for color mixing and we'll, we'll use color I'll show you how to color mix using the background so what we're going to do which this is the more of the fun part well first before we start coloring we want to outline so outlining, not the lines, just the bird. I'm gonna color the circle black as well. You can use black, you can use gray, you can use brown, uh, you can use the color red, because we're going to make the bird only using uh, cool colors. I will show you how you're going to do that. So I'm just taking the marker and I'm using, and I'm just going over. Do not outline the lines in the background because that's our lines to help you color mix the warm colors in the background. Now we don't, we're going to go over the fun lines okay 
Now that our bird is outlined, I'm going to start off with using um, the colors, the cool colors. So purple, we have, that's blue violet, that's purple. I have some different variety of different colors. So this is indigo. I have blue green. I have a color called beautiful. Um, I also have green. I have yellow green. So those are all my cool colors. Now, all I want you to do if you at home, if you don't have a pack of Prans are 24, you don't have to use all these different colors. I just want you to focus on using the, the purple, the blue, and the green. These are extra colors that I have at home that I'm gonna be using as well. So I'm going to start coloring the inside here. I'm gonna just take this blue color and I'm going to color the inside feather blue. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, now that's colored. I wanna color my beak a, a dark color, so I'm gonna color it purple. Now I'm gonna color the other parts of the feathers green. Now, if you do not have light green, dark green, you could just color the feathers with just one color shade of green. Or hue of green. We learned about hues, meaning one color. Okay, so here I finished my coloring for the feathers. Now I'm gonna move on to the actual bird. I want to color the bird using um, a, a darker blue. So I'm going uh, to take this indigo and I'm gonna start coloring the inside. Now it looks more like purple, that's okay. If you don't have the blue, you can just color the whole bird purple. So these are our dark, cool colors that we're going to use for today's project. Now what you're going to do is once you're done with the whole bird, make sure that you are coloring inside the lines, there's no white spots, then we are going to color the background together. So now that I finished coloring the whole bird, I'm going to now outline the background. Now, how we're gonna outline the background is, I mean, color the background. We're going to first take the yellow, and I'm not gonna start at the top, I wanna start at the, uh, I wanna start right here, which is the pure middle. And you wanna go around. Now, I, I don't care about the white spots because we're gonna be color blending. And color blending as in we're gonna put colors on top of other colors and that's how we're going to color blend. So what I'm going to do is I'm just taking my crayon. Okay. So the whole thing right now, not the whole, not the whole drawing, just where the section of the bird is, we want to get that yellow. You can see I'm just taking my crayon and I'm going back and forth, side to side, just side to side. We want to make sure that all the sides are covered. All right, now you want to make sure that you want to go a little bit more down. All right, so here, we're gonna stop right here. Now I'm gonna take my orange, 
because we want to make sure that we get enough orange and red inside. So we're just going to take the crayon and I'm going to start blending the colors. It's okay if it goes down the line that we created. We want to make sure that it's all blended together. And you're only using the warm colors, which are the red, the orange, and the yellow. It's okay if there's white spots because we're going to take, we're going to keep taking our crayon and we're going to keep making the color. Okay. Now we're going to stop here, take the yellow, go over the orange spots. Then we're going to take some more orange and, and keep going up. So we want it to look like a sunset. So the bird is outside near a sunset. So we want to go over this whole orange area with the yellow. Go on top with the orange. And it's okay if it goes over, that's fine. I want, want it to be as natural as possible. So now I'm gonna take my yellow and I'm gonna go up with the yellow with my crayon. We're color blending, we'll keep color blending. And if you have yellow, orange as a crayon, you can use that as well, which I'm going to actually use just to show you what you can do with other warm colors. Now you don't have to do this, but I wanna just make sure that everyone is covered and knows exactly uh, how to use different colors. So I'm going to continue. Okay, now I'm gonna take my yellow orange. If you don't have yellow orange, that's fine. I'm not looking for you to do that. I just wanna go up with my crayon and just, now your top can be just yellow. I'm adding the yellow orange to mine. Let's see, now it's starting to blend. That's what we want to happen. We want the colors to blend. So now I'm taking my yellow and I keep blending, blend, 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 blend. Take the bar, orange, blend, 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 keep blending. Sunset looking good. All right, now that that top is done, which is looking fantastic, I want to start taking my red and I want to go over some of the areas. So yes, yeah, so we want to make sure that when you do blend, it's okay if there's white spots, that's fine because I, it's better if you don't press as hard just so you can get the blending part because if you press so hard you will not be able to blend the colors correctly and that could be a problem so yes yeah, so you see now i'm just taking my red and i'm going up and i keep going up we want it to be where the sun is setting on the top and it's going down starting to be nighttime so now it's starting to look a lot more neater. Uh, what I'm going to do is take another uh, warm color that I have in my box. We don't have this, just continue to use the orange on top of the red. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that as well. So when I'm done with this part, look what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my orange and just Go in, not the whole, not the whole thing, just where the line was ending, 
and blend. Now I'm gonna take my red viol uh, violet red and I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna go around the area. And this will make the, the bottom a little bit more of a purpley color. You don't have to do this. This is only friends who do have extra warm colors at home. Okay. And now I'm going to take a red violet. And I'm going to continue on the bottom. Whoops. And I'm going to still take my orange and I'm just going to go over that as well. And here we go. Just by using three colors, I mean, I've used other warm colors too, but only by using three colors, you have now created a warm color and cool color uh, bird by color blending warm colors.